friends welcome to the arduino basic course and uh, this is kavedia sir once again with a new video audio tone generation now using a buzzer with a buzzer how i can generate different tones by interfacing with uh, arduino we'll see in this video prior to starting the video one more important announcement friends if you really like the content of this channel please do subscribe like share the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so that you will get notification of my videos as soon as they are uploaded so friends i hope you are enjoying this arduino sessions and please if you have some suggestions or any comments please put it in the comment box so that it will help me in improving this video so let's move with what is audio tone generation now i can do the tone generations with arduino and a buzzer in three different ways that is by writing delay or by using the pwm signal or by using a tone function now delay means what i am just doing nothing within that particular span my audio pin will remain in the same state as it was prior to delay so by setting different delay times i can set it to 1 millisec uh, 1000 milliseconds or 1 second or 250 milliseconds or 500 milliseconds so depending upon this milliseconds which i'm setting my tone can be short beep long beep moderate beep and so on one of the nice example of the tone generation is you can generate morse codes morse codes are nothing but the tone which is combination of short long and moderate beeps so let's see how i can generate the tone using delay command so first what i'll do i'll set the pin to high with a function called as digital right after that i'm setting a 250 milliseconds delay and after that delay again i am putting that pin low with the help of digital right function so in digital right in digital right i am setting it to low for again 250 millisecond so my pin is kept high and then it is kept low for two, making the pin as high and then pin as low with a delay of 250 milliseconds so it will give me short beep so if i go on increasing the delay time what will happen my tone length will get increased but remember one thing since the pin is set to high or low it is swinging between 5 volts and 0 volts so tone related to 5 volt and 0 volt will be audible to you that is either the high tone or the low tone a high tone or the low tone so the next way is to generate the tone using analog right function now already friends you have seen on analog right function in my video of the intensity control so once again just for the uh, revision i'm just telling you what do you mean by word pwm that is pulse width modulation in pulse width modulation what i do i set the high time duration of the pulse so if more the high time duration more will be the voltage less the high time duration less will be the voltage now let's say here it is 80% of the time it is high and for 25 20% of the time it is low so duty cycle is 80% so average voltage will be high here i'm setting 50% high and 50% low means exactly the average voltage will be half of the total voltage so the tone will be bit low and since it is 20% tone will be again less and finally it is zero means there is no tone means in this case i can generate the volume of the tone with uh, giving the different duty cycles why because i am setting different average voltage on the analog average voltage on the pwm pin but friends one thing in this case only you can use pin number 3 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 only this pwm pins can be used with this analog functions already i have told you in my intensity control video so my first function was so my first way was to generate delay with digital right and digital low in that case i can only change the tone time duration that is i can have a short beeps or i can have a long beeps but if i want to control the volume i can use analog right so let's see the function with analog right in analog right i am first setting the duty cycle to 25% so the volume will be of 25% then delay of 
100 milliseconds this 100 milliseconds and then again i am writing the tone to zero so what will happen is the duty cycle will be 25 percent then zero percent then 25 percent and zero percent so by setting different duty cycles i can generate different volumes in the buzzer now the next is tone generation with tone function so the tone function works or the tone command works with internal timer of the processor so tone function may have either two or three arguments and the third argument is the optional one so i can have two arguments or i can have three arguments so tone the pin number to which my buzzer is connected and the frequency in hertz hertz is nothing but unit of frequency that is number of cycles per second so friends if you say our ac means the supply which is coming at home is having 50 hertz of frequency means it has 50 cycles per second so let's see how tone can be generated using tone command so here i have written tone 9 comma 260 so it will generate a frequency of 260 hertz on pin number 9 and no tone means there won't be any tone on that pin number 9 so tone and no tone tone and no tone this will go on repeating so this tone and then no tone again the th second variation of tone is pin frequency and the duration so duration is a value that can be added if tone is required for short span or more span so if i give less time it will be for short span if i give more time it will be for more span so in the example you can see again 9 260 and 500 so 9 is a pin number 260 is the frequency and 500 is the time duration of the delay so i can generate the tone in these two ways now the maximum frequency is for the generation of tone can be 64 kilohertz that is the 65535 hertz and minimum can be 31 hertz so this is what is the frequency variation because it is provided by the avr boards so i can generate tones now why you need tone is to divert the attention of a person now suppose if i'm having a home alert system or home automation system and something goes wrong so if i blink the led and suppose if i'm not nearby i won't understand what is exactly happening so i can generate the tone and i can divert the attention so suppose you are at home and suddenly one two three different sounds you hear uh, maybe of ambulance maybe of fire brigade maybe of uh, police van so using those tones or listening the tones you can find out which type of uh, vehicle is going on that is a police van or is a fire brigade or either an ambulance so you know what are the different tones generated so tone plays very important role in your project so here there is a interfacing so you can see the interfacing and already i have given you the three different ways so we can see the demonstration of three different ways for generating different tones of arduino so thank you friends for uh, this session of audio tone generation and uh, myself engineer manoj kavidia thank you and stay safe stay at home and friends please if you like don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification and please do comment so that i can make my channel more and more better thank you